We continue to follow breaking news on CBS News Miami. Federal agents are conducting raids on P. Diddy's homes here in Miami and in Los Angeles. Let's get right out to CBS News Miami's Larry Seward, who is at Diddy's home on Star Island. Larry, what are you learning about why this raid is happening? Two law enforcement sources, according to the Associated Press, says this is part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. But those sources told the Associated Press it's not clear whether Combs is the target of said investigation. His house is just behind me. You can see the trio of federal agents there at the edge of the driveway. They are from Homeland Security Investigations here in Miami. They are working in tandem with the New York Homeland Security Office. We saw just moments ago a canine from U.S. Customs and Border Patrol taken down that driveway onto Diddy's property as they continue to raid and investigate um, this case that's, again, based out of New York. We have some video I want to show you uh, from earlier. Uh, Chopper 4 over the scene of the house here gives you a better sense of the scale of the property that the police here are searching. We were told by neighbors that these officers showed up three to four hours ago beginning this raid here in Miami. At the same time, earlier today in Los Angeles, police with the Homeland Security Investigations Agency raided one of Diddy's homes there as well. Again, it is not totally clear because their explanation to us has been very vague on what it is that they're looking for. I mentioned that we saw a canine taking up the driveway here. The statement that we got from Homeland Security Investigations reads, and I quote earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and local law enforcement partners. They're going to provide information as it becomes available, but that is really all we know at this point beyond what you can see here live in Miami Beach as you look at those agents that are at the edge of the driveway. We have seen dozens of them, most dressed like those that you see there, some dressed with vests. Uh, and of course, we saw the Customs and Border Patrol K-9 unit just go up the driveway to continue this investigation. We'll gather as much information as we can and bring that to you as it becomes available. Uh, for now, we're live on Star Island. Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami. Hey, Larry, before you go, we saw a video from Chopper 4 of the very heavily armed agents going into the home. Do we know if P. Diddy was inside the house or if anybody was inside the house when this raid took place? Good question. Since we've been here, we've seen no one detained. We've seen no one coming down that driveway besides law enforcement. Earlier, we had a vantage point where you could see the gate to that driveway. There's a large gate that is taller than that van that sits there. It's probably another two feet taller than that van. It was disabled and pushed to the side, uh, and we've not seen anybody, again, other than law enforcement heading down that driveway at this point. And Larry, I know this is a very exclusive high-end neighborhood, so perhaps a lot of neighbors not really willing to talk to you right now. But from anyone there, have you gotten any indication that they knew that something like this was coming? Because it seems like it's having a huge impact on their community tonight. Yeah, Lauren, I want to show you something, if we can, Chris. I want to pan and show you just how close the homes are here. You can see over here to, to the to the left, if you will, give us a second. We're taking the camera off the tripod. But you can see there are homes here really within a stone's throw of, of Diddy's place here. We talked with one homeowner who did not want to be on camera. She told me she is not surprised because of the series of lawsuits that uh, Sean Combs faces and has faced in recent months, including one filed by the R&B singer Cassie that was settled last year. So she was not surprised to see all of this, this federal presence. But we talked to some of the workers, and there are many that have been coming and going as you look at some of the traffic here. A lot of them are, are, are dog walkers, construction workers, et cetera, working on some of the, the homes that are here. They told us that they see Diddy out jogging and walking and that they were surprised to see federal investigators here. At this point, that's, that's all we know from them. No one with, with much more information beyond seeing the uh, law enforcement show up here about two, three hours ago, three or four hours ago, I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely one of the uh, most expensive and luxurious mm -hmm. neighborhoods here in South Florida. Larry, uh, in some of the video we saw earlier, it looked like they uh, broke down the gate in order to get into the driveway. Was that the case? Yes, it certainly looks like that, and I want to, we may be able to give you a vantage point if we walk this direction. This is the giant command post that Homeland Security Investigations has set up here, and, and again, they've been here for hours. If we can get to the other side of this, you might be able to get a sense, get a peek at that, at that gate that we showed you earlier. If you look to your left, that is the driveway. It's hard to see. The, the van is blocking it, but again, that gate is taller than the, than the van, and it, it, it was disabled and broken and pushed to the side. 
All right, Larry Seward live for us on Star Island tonight as this raid at one of P. Diddy's homes continues. We've also been following news from the West Coast where another one of his homes in Los Angeles also under a raid at this hour. We, of course, are going to stay on top of this developing story and bring you the very latest on CBS News Miami. And don't forget to watch our reports on CBS News Miami starting at 7 o'clock. And, of course, complete wrap-up on CBS News Miami at uh, 9 o'clock on TV 33 and at 11 on CBS 4. I'm Elliot Rodriguez with Lauren Pastrana. We'll, talk, we'll see you later.